choose wisely. <laughs> I started off with Emacs. So that's why I but I think it's a lot like less like that. It sounds intriguing, it also sounds like it might be a little bit complicated to get the hang of, but we'll see. I might, I might pick up you guys sometime and I can make a form of decision. That is the one, no, 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 the one from the editor is a magnetized needle and very good hand. If you're going to get hard to write, go all the way. Whistling. And... Yes. Um, so, one big difference between web comics and newspaper comics is something you mentioned before when you're talking about the Stallman comic where you went back and changed some things. Do you, do you do that often and do you find that helps? I, I really try not to. Um, and if I do, I don't make changes to the comic except I'll, I'll fix something right after it goes up. Like, a lot of the time, that's the first, that I won't notice a problem until, the, until people are actually looking at it and then it'll hit me. Like, oh, I have to change this. So, I usually I give myself a little period, but for the most part, I like. You know, the mistakes are in there, and once they've been there a little while, they stay. Like, for example, um, there's one about George Clinton doing, uh, who uh, I heard did a BA in math, and it has him in front of the chalkboard pointing at it, and he's got some equations there. One of them's called Foss Transform, one of them's the Universal Foss Transform, except it's not at all. I completely got that wrong. I just, <laughs> it was just the Laplace Transform with negative T. And <laughs> so, and I actually managed, and I haven't gotten a lot of mail about that one. I think there weren't as many people reading it back then. But when I did the one about e to the pi, um, <laughs> e to the pi times i minus one equals zero, and oh, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking about the circle and the cosines, but I got it flipped in my head, and did e to the, or e, and I did e to the pi minus one equals zero. And that got me letters. <laughs> I, I got up at about 4 a.m. to check, and I'm, I had slept, gone to sleep early, checked my email, and there were at least three dozen letters saying, I think you mean e to the pi times i plus one and equals zero. And I had to scramble and go and fix it. And that I fixed because I couldn't handle <laughs> a dozen letters an hour for the next week or two. <laughs> so I think that was the worst mistake that I made like that. <laughs> <laughs>